So we are going, going to talk about entomopathogenic nematodes, uh, or we call them biocontrol nematodes. They are obligate insect parasites, which are naturally occurring in the soil to attack most soil insects. Uh, when we bring in agriculture, however, sometimes the species that are there locally may not be matched to our agricultural pests. So what we have done is found the species that works the best in New York conditions in New York agriculture, and that's what we rear and release. The literature is filled with people doing research with entomopathogenic nematodes, but they've all used them from a commercial source and with New York agriculture that they were way too expensive. And so we, 30 years ago, sat and tried to dream up a better way. I mean, if these critters have evolved in nature, maybe we could go back and find the original strains and then figure out how to use the original strains, which will persist across our winters in New York, uh, and, and see if we could make them work. And so we basically headed off in a brand new direction. We're the only ones in the United States that have pursued this. And here some 30 years later, we have strains of nematodes that we release once, and they're there for, well, we got tired of looking after 10 years. We use uh, wax worms, which are available in the, in the fish bait industry. And what we discovered was that if you lift the lid and inject in a few nematode infected juveniles and close the lid in two weeks, you have now 25 million uh, nematodes. Now all you have to do is then rinse those out of the sawdust and put them in water and you can spray them on a the field. Or we've also found out that you could just dump the sawdust and everything in the cup inside of a liquid dairy manure. The way that these nematodes work is they actually penetrate the insect through a spherical opening, their breathing opening. They then release a bacteria. The bacteria then kills the insect with a septicemia. And when they've used all the resources internally, they then leave and go look for other hosts. <clears throat> I think that if you are, are using a system where you're uh, reducing your inputs, that becomes more sustainable. So what we've shown in New York is that a single inoculation, either in corn or in alfalfa, these nematodes will persist for up to 10 years you can get a pest control incorporated that's going to suppress pest outbreaks and be compatible with all of your other technologies, then that's about as sustainable as you can get.